Hey guys, Ellen Prince here, back with Dungeon Meshy. This is a last minute recording. I, I was a little focused on baking today and I had to get rid of some pie crust. Time slipped away from me and here we are. It's almost six o'clock. I have some stuff I need to do, but you guys come first. Uh, on Monday, gonna be having a bit of a different video. It's Dark Souls 3 related, so check that out if you do want. I, I've been wanting to do a video in that style. I'll, I'll talk more during the credits, but at this point, stuff down below, do it as you see fit. And without any further ado, let's get started. And they're in the hot pot. Okay. Cool things are looking normal. Wunderbar. But yeah. Um, very different style of video than what I do even within the, you know, pseudo video essays that I try my hand at occasionally. So it'll be interesting to hear your guys' thoughts. I want to... I mentioned further plans with it a bit later on in the video, so check it out. Let me know if you're interested. Um, we also finished up Dishonored 1 this week, or Dishonored 2. Really fucking enjoyed it. Hope that you all, all enjoyed the playthrough, going through Death of the Outsider. I, I need to record more in advance. I've got next month prepped out, but need to go further. So, but yeah, last time we spent some time in a magical world, messed around with all that comes with that. There is a sedation spell or something, so let's see how they continue on with that. Ugh. I, I can't imagine having a foot, much less a furry one, shoved right in my mouth. Oh, wonderful smells. 140. <laughs> Stop suffocating the poor boy. Yeah, it's one of those ultra thick Japanese style pancakes. That he is. I don't read Japanese. What does that little thing say? Yeah. Eat. Give it a shot. Do you taste it? Yeah. Uh-huh. I see. <laughs> Fucking cat. Yeah? Yep. The psychopathic sorcerer. Yeah. There's the fucking book. Really? That's... Mm. The mage? How's that work with immortality? Yeah. That's... Uh, yeah, they... They ran into it a few times.
Yeah, the, the winged line. Are they heading off? Oh. Oh, yippee. That's... That's certainly one way to travel. Could you... Theoretically... Drop through floors? Well... Sometimes belief can help. Oh, hello. And he's got the squiggly pupils. Different. That's that's a fucking cool compass. Senshi. That's a really fascinating. Oh, welcome back, Zumi. <laughs> You're, you're definitely having a existential crisis. Yep. What do they say? Yep. He is a dwarf. Is that, is that like a previous, previously established ability for dwarves? Oh shit, and they're doing charcoal rubbings. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Senshi. Uh, Alice, you're up here. Bring it down. Someone is clearly... Yeah, not, not helpful, Zumi. Oh. Yep. Yep. Hello, Griffin. Any variety of Griffin you want to tell us? Calm down. Oh god. Senshi? I I don't think he's in a state to listen. That's that's just fucking dandy. Put a little pep in your step, Zoomy. <laughs> yep, of course he fucking doesn't. Why? Yep. 
you have? What do you got for us? Okay. Okay. Why is the horn down here instead of... Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh. Why do you... So what's the logic of you cutting one of your locks of hair? Is it like a calorie-based thing? Lyles? There's certifications? Well, he's the party chef. <laughs> then he spontaneously appeared. Yep. Such as? How many years? Yep, so there's four years unaccounted for. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, or... Is... Yeah, he's a subterranean creature. I always like the way that magic circles function. So what was the lock of hair used with? And you created a... It's a... A really ugly bird. Yeah. Laios is... <laughs> it's... Oh, God. That... Because he's fucking mad. Okay. How about we just sit you down? Go for it. Probably flapping. It why is it flying 
like its feet are propellers. Hello, Senshi. Uh, okay. Helpful. Ow. So, evolution and all that. I don't know, like a particularly spiky noodle. Yeah. Yeah. How how are you Oh boy. Yep, back legs are a thing too. <laughs> well, it has got to change the sport. Oh god. Calm. It needs more speed. You ruined it. Okay. And Oh god, the narrator spoke. What is it being manifested into? <laughs> oh god, that's that's concerningly fast. What? Oh god. <laughs> I think something close is more accurate. I, I do appreciate that he's doing the proper technique with your feet for how to climb a rope. Cripple it. Okay. That's move, Senshi. You've just got a loincloth, so you've got no excuse to shit your pants. Beast is down. Hey, Senshi. Yep. Get your bug eyes down a bit more. Poor creature. Oh God. <laughs> I'm... Yeah. 
Yeah, that that's got to be a little. Hey, chill, Chuck. Oh, fucking hell. Um. Uh. Come on. So it looks like a fascinating recipe. Is it like a built-in dumpling? So... What even... What even... God damn it, I can't read Japanese. That's... Yeah. No, you get to. That's... That's bad news. Hello, chill truck. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he's a he's a father. He's got to sell it off. That's no bueno. <sighs> what were you? Which war? It, he looks weird without... Some facial hair. And that was... Looks like this for... Uh, what time are we? 22.30. 22? Yeah, 22.30. To the wall of random ass notes we go. It'll be it'll be interesting to see how this little story gets adapted into the final two episodes. Just cause I'd normally It's, again, it's the weird thing of being able to know completely where a story is going, because, you know, I've read the manga, and side note of that, Goblin Slayer finally got a new English chapter that isn't from the year one book, and it's, it's catching up to where the anime is, which is weird, so I guess they were pulling from the light novel, but that about does it for my end. I have stuff I need to hit. So at this point, you all know the drill. Stuff down below, do it as you see fit. As always, I am Sven, and this is Owen Prince, signing out.